Hi guys, Rob 46 here, welcome yourselves back to the MotoGP 22 preview on the PC. Today we're going to do chapter 2 of 9, 2000 and season 2009. Um, so this time we are at Mategi. Two weeks after LaSalle, riders fly to Japan for the second GP of the season. After the double podium obtained in Qatar, the official Yamaha riders are chasing their first victory of the season, but it won't be an easy task. So rewards are Mika Calio and James Toesland. Um, again, I'll have to edit out any official footage. So yeah, let's begin. So episode one, we are, oh, before it starts, Lorenzo, an act of will. Lorenzo fails to capitalise on his first front row and finds himself fifth. But in the space of a few corners, he passes both Stoner and Vimulin. Uh, Pedroza and Rossi are not too to be passed so easily. So main is to finish in second place and uh, optional perform at least one one pass per lap. Okay. Japan, home to Yamaha, home to Bridgestone, the perfect stage. It's been a year since you won a race. What a stupid place to let you have control. You in the top step of the podium. Time to attack. Okay, stop talking now, please. This one is tricky. Got Pe past Pedroza on this lap. The game gives you control at a really stupid time. Literally as you're about to tip into a corner. Not ideal. So past Pedroza on this lap and then past Vermeulen on the next one. Easier said than done. It's taken me a few attempts at this one. Droza. Turn, turn in, turn in. Okay, well we've got one of them. Steady. Oh, Pedroza, what are you doing? Mulin a little bit wide. We got him. Doors open. No one came through there. Good. A little bit of a lead now. Didn't turn him properly though. We done it. Oh. That was stressful. <sighs> Thank God for that. 
Two of Rossi and finish in first place. Is it going to give me control in a stupid place again? Kinda. Right, so optional objective is finish, basically beat Rossi by half a second. Gonna be easier said than done, I think, again. Very much a block pass there, but I have left the door open. Rossi, does your bike keep wheeling as well? It's annoying, isn't it? Beating Rossi by half a second is going to be very difficult, especially when you take into consideration this chicane. So we need to build up our lead over this next lap. That's what we need to do. If I can get it to about a second, we should be okay. Well, Pedroza's just crashed, but doesn't really help me out. We haven't got it up to a second, annoyingly. I'll just turn in. That's where we're losing a lot of time as well. Oh, we might just do it. Yes. We actually made some time going through the um, that chicane. We actually made some time up. Danny Pedrosa, back on the fourth row. Injuries may slow you down later in the race, but what's to stop you making a flying start? Ten riders ahead of you on the grid. How many after two corners? So we've got to finish in, oh, sorry, Edwards, second place. We've got three laps. We've actually hit the lead. I don't like Matagi at the best of times, but some of these challenges are challenging. Really messed that one up.
Oh, thanks, Casey. Suppose we don't actually need to win the race, do we? We've got to finish second. wide a proper little battle going on with Stoner now oh that's annoying oh Lorenzo had a moment so did I it's getting very heated now. Oh. Follow that Ducati. Turn. Not too tight, otherwise we'll be on the kerb. I'll wait till we get some wet challenges. They're going to be a bit of a nightmare. Oh, wow, thanks. Casey, you're really starting to annoy me. Oh, he's gone wide. Rossi's up the second now. Can we stay ahead of Rossi? Does it? Oh. I'm going to say, it doesn't matter if we don't because we've got to finish second. Rossi gave me a little nudge there. <laughs> Actually helped me out. Done. Done, done, done. Wait. It didn't give me that. Reached second place before the end of the first lap. Because we were in first. That's annoying. Never mind. Nobody expected to see Danny Pedrosa in second place, least of all Valentino Rossi, who's looking at the Spaniard's back wheel with just a few laps to go. It's bad enough watching your teammate lead the race. Are you also going to be beaten by a guy who's riding injured? Right, okay. So we've got a gap Pedroza by point eight. It's 
see if we can do that. I mean, because we got past him pretty easily. Oh, mess that up. I think I see a bat marker up ahead as well. Just seen someone go through the hairpin before Lorenzo got there. And if Lorenzo's in first, it must be a bat marker. Looks like Lorenzo's struggling with wheelies as well. So at least the AI struggle with them, not just the player. Right, we've got a second over Pedroza. Might be able to take the uh, the lead in a minute. Oh, we've already closed in there. Right, Lorenzo's back through. Alright, we got him. My right, gap back to Pedroza must be over 0.8 now. We're going way too hot there. Mess that up. Oh, Pedroza's just crashed. That really does help us out a lot. Well, I say a lot. We had already had that gap over 0.8 already. been a much better start to this lap. In fact, we're not too far behind the um, bat marker. We're not going to catch him, but... Really the wrong gear then. There we go. Done that one. It's at the end of chapter two, episode three. Okay, so that was the end of episode two. 
that's done. And then we go on to Harath next. And the last one we can do is Le Mans. So uh, we'll do that next time. Um, so we have just unlocked Micacalio as well. So if we go to Season 2009. There's Calio on the, uh, the Pramac Ducati. But anyway, guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe, watch, and look after yourself. See you guys next time. See you!